Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna give you seven benefits of condo living. Really quick before we get started, if this is your first time to the channel, my name is Hassan, I'm a real estate agent in Vancouver. I make these educational videos to help you in your buying or selling journey. So the first thing I wanna mention off the top is where the inspiration uh, for this video came from. And I was listening to a podcast the other day, and one of the facts, uh, which I was aware of, I didn't know the exact numbers, but one of the facts was how over the last several decades, and we're talking from the 1950s and 60s to the current decade, how many households have changed from being multi-person households uh, to now single-person households. So uh, in the U.S. back in the 1950s, uh, less than 10% of households uh, were single-person, right? Everyone lived with their uh, spouses or large families. And now if you look at it, uh, in Canada and the U.S., it's about 30% of households are actually single-person households. So... Yes, the need for housing has increased, but the need for condo and smaller size unit has increased significantly. I know uh, in Manhattan, I believe the number is 48 or 49% of the households are single person households. So a lot of people will tell you that yes, you know, detached living, it's a better investment. Detached homes are better properties to own. Uh, in many ways they are. Having said that, the need for condo properties has never been greater and condos are going nowhere. So we're gonna talk about those benefits of condo living because they're not often spoke about. Without wasting any time, let's get rolling. So the first benefit that I wanna talk about is when you purchase into a condo, when you're living in a condo, um, chances are you're gonna be living in a highly walkable urban area. So condos, uh, these high density projects are designed to be in locations that are walkable to your amenities. So that may be restaurants, that may be gyms, rec centers, uh, transit a lot of times. You're going to be very close and you're going to have everything at your fingertips or at your footsteps. So myself personally, I live currently in New West. I live uh, about a three minute walk from the New West SkyTrain station. I walk down to the bottom of my building. I have the Boathouse restaurant right there. There's at least 15, 20 different places I can eat right in the walkable vicinity. Uh, four or five bars I can go to. When you compare that to detached living, detached properties are just because they take more land space, obviously. They're designed to be further out uh, from these urban environments. So one of the things that I love about condo living is everything is so close. Everything is so convenient. There are some days I don't even have to take my car out. I find that um, just a nice, nice perk because so much, so much of the day I'm actually spent behind the wheel uh, when I'm selling real estate. I'm meeting clients. I, I could be in you know five, six different cities. So when I actually have a day where I don't need to meet clients, I can actually leave the car at home and do everything that I need to do uh, within walking distance. Uh, the second thing, and it's it may be a no-brainer to some, but the second benefit is you're gonna you're gonna pay less when you're purchasing a condo. So if you compare uh, condo prices, uh, even to most townhomes, but detached properties for sure, uh, condo properties are gonna be more affordable. Uh, they are geared, I would say, to the first time buyer, um, and oftentimes, a, a lot of times, to the younger buyer. When it comes to condos and townhomes, most of it is based on a price per square foot level. So sometimes you're buying a condo that might be 500 square feet or 600 square feet, uh, when you compare that to a detached home, um, obviously with the detached home, a large chunk of the value is in the land. So the cost, a lot of the cost of entry purchasing the property with detached homes has to do with that land and how well land typically appreciates over time. But with a condo, much easier to get into, uh, a lot easier to afford. Affordability wise, it's just a better property for a lot of people, especially first time buyers. Now the third benefit of condo living, our condos are so easy to maintain. So when you live in a freehold strata, um, you are essentially responsible for the maintenance the easiest way to look at it is you're responsible personally for the maintenance within your four walls. So anything that happens within your strata unit, you're responsible for that level of maintenance. But things like the roof, um, the heating systems, the elevators, uh, all the external type of elements, the the uh, rain screening of the actual building, so the actual building envelope, uh, this is stuff you don't have to worry about. If you were in a detached property, Yes, you gotta factor in that, that roof that you're gonna have to take care of. You're gonna have to factor in uh, if you have any issues from the exterior of the building. 
Now, that's not to say that condo living, uh, that's not your problem at all. Part of the reason you pay strata fees is so that they can actually go into what's called a contingency reserve fund, which saves up for some of these larger type expenditures. So from a cost basis, yes, you'll still have to pay for it, but do you have to think about it and do you have to be the one to pick up the phone and get multiple quotes, uh, make sure you're getting the best price, make sure you're getting best service? No, that lands on the responsibility of the strata council. So again, condo living, super convenient. You worry about what's happening within your unit, you don't have to worry as much about what's happening outside of your unit. And this leads me to my fourth benefit. Um, with condo living, you can choose to be as involved or as uninvolved as you wanna be with the Strata and the Strata Council. Now, being on Strata Council does have its perks because you have a larger say in terms of what happens with the building. Uh, so when repairs are necessary, ongoing maintenance, you do tend to have a larger voice when you are on Strata Council. At the same time, one of the biggest benefits for me for condo living is I don't have to worry about that stuff or think about it or put invest any time into it. Uh, I'm sure you guys are super busy with work and family and all your obligations. Um, condo living, you just don't have to think about it. I encourage everyone to go to the monthly meetings and definitely to go to the AGMs, but if you don't wanna do it, you don't have to do it. So you can be as involved or as uninvolved as you want to be. I've been on both sides of the coin where I've been heavily involved in a strata uh, and I've been in stratas where I, I tend to try and take a step back. Uh, as a realtor myself, a lot of times some issues get uh, controversial, if you will. So I try and, I try and step back, but I always uh, you know vote at the AGMs and the SGMs. Uh, but it takes up so little of my time. I get the monthly meeting minutes sent over to me. I read what's going on with the building. I can, uh, if I have any questions, I can reach out to council, but I don't have to do any of that. Uh, when you compare that to maybe a detached home, uh, you know, that home, the maintenance, everything that happens surrounding it is gonna land on your shoulders. So if you're busy with work, again, family, kids, there's not a lot of time left over in the day to, for me to focus on uh, focus on you know the place that I live. I want it to be convenient. I want to be able to just come home, open the door, you know, have have my dinner, go to sleep, not worry about uh, some of the maintenance items that's happening. And again, you can be as involved or as uninvolved as you want to be when it comes to condo living. The fifth benefit I want to talk about is many buildings, especially in high rises in the urban areas, like we're talking about, have excellent building amenities. So for myself personally, um, I have a uh, rooftop terrace, they call it, it's not exactly on the rooftop because it's on the fifth level, but there's a terrace area with barbecue. Uh, there's a full gym in my building as well, which I utilize. A lot of buildings will have uh, swimming pools, saunas, hot tubs. If these are the types of amenities that you may use, so convenient and such a benefit of condo living. Again, this kind of tails back to, you know, on your days off, being able to leave the car and being able to walk to everything you might need. So that doesn't only include restaurants, grocery stores, transit, but it would include obviously the amenities in your building. There are some condo buildings downtown that have just insane, exceptional amenities. You do pay for them in the strata fees, but you know, one way to think about it is if you are going to use uh, the services of a gym or a pool, sauna, rec facility, you would pay for that externally. So what condo living does allow you to do in a lot of cases is cancel a lot of the sus subscriptions you may have to exterior amenities and utilize the ones that are in your building. Now the sixth benefit I wanna talk about, it's not talked about frequently, are the social opportunities you get for living in a condo. Um, Every time that I leave my condo, I go downstairs. Again, I live by the boathouse. I'm right down by the river. There's always people coming and going. I'm meeting so many new people uh, every day. You know, we have 300 plus units in my tower. Plus, next to me, there's another 300 units. So, it's um, it's very easy to meet people, socialize. Um, you feel kind of that that feeling of camaraderie a little bit. Uh, I'm involved, so I have a couple buildings. I'm involved in the Facebook. Uh, groups for both buildings. So again, we're being socially active by chatting about different things about the neighborhood. And if someone comes across, for example, a really good restaurant in the neighborhood, they post it in that Facebook group. Uh, it's a very, for me, I find condo living is such an inclusive environment in that sense. So many social opportunities uh, and you really, really get to know your neighbors, uh, which isn't so common nowadays. 
What I find as well is that the way that neighborhoods have evolved, the whole camaraderie and the friendly neighbor aspect, it has been lost in a lot of communities and a lot of neighborhoods uh, that are detached home communities. When I was a child, I knew every single one of my neighbors. We would all hang out together. We'd be playing road hockey all day. Um, my, my friends would be knocking on my door. We'd be going to each other's houses. There was this camaraderie of the neighborhood where, you know, if you lived on the same street, you all played together, you all got to know each other, the parents all knew each other. Unfortunately, these same streets that I grew up on, detached neighborhoods, they don't have that camaraderie or that feel anymore. A lot of these areas are actually desolate. There's a lot of homes that are sitting vacant, which leads me to, to my next point is actually security of neighborhoods. And, and Specifically, the benefit of condo living, in my opinion, and this may be controversial, is that I feel like for security, condo living is actually better than detached living. A lot of people will say, well, when you're in a condo, you're surrounded by all your neighbors and actually security would be worse because there's so many more people that could you know, come to your door and, and maybe cause disturbances. Uh, for me, it's the other way around. When I look at detached properties, a lot of them are secluded, they're on their own. I would think if I were a criminal um, that that would actually be an easier target would be to go to a detached home. But with condo living, yes, there's a lot of people, you have a lot of neighbors and you could have some bad neighbors, but then again, you have a lot of eyes on the property as well. If a criminal could not really do a lot of things without being noticed in a strata building versus maybe a detached home. So there you have it guys, seven benefits of condo living. Look, if someone were to ask me from an investment angle, is condo the best type of purchase I can make? Absolutely not. Detached homes, nine times out of 10, will appreciate more than condos over time. They are a better investment, again, because of that land quotient and I'm often moving clients from condos and townhouses into detached properties. So I have nothing against detached properties. I just know that with the shifting demographic and how people are choosing to live nowadays with the convenience of being walkable to everything, condo living, A, it's going nowhere. B, we have a, a very high need for more condo towers in many areas in the Vancouver area. So wanted to do this video so you can understand uh, all of the perks that come around with condo living. And guys, I really appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you learned something at all, it would be awesome if you could like it because it gets sent out to other people that can view this video as well. Again, my name's Hassan. I'm a real estate agent in Vancouver. Uh, if you wanted help from myself, if you had any real estate questions, reach out to me. All my contact info is in the description box below. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and have an amazing day.